So I'm just gonna ask you a few questions um, for being our Herbert employer of the day today. Um, just to give an overview of the company um, and what that is. So um, first thing is, I just want you to tell me about the company and um, your primary role. Okay. Um, J.A. Fieldman is a general contractor. We are based in Knoxville, Tennessee, but we do work all over the southeast. Most of what we do is either commercial or industrial. Um, a lot of our commercial work is multifamily, which is apartment buildings. Um, and then as far as industrial goes, most of what we do there is construction management, which we oversee the general contractors and either make recommendations on you know how the job should be done based on the contract and the specifications from engineers and architects um, or we say hey this was done wrong we recommend going back and doing it you know this way that per the contract um, we take a lot of pictures and do a lot of documentation um, Back to the commercial side, we also do, um, we have a hotel that we're building in Nashville. Um, and then as far as the multifamilies, we, the two jobs in North Carolina are both multifamily. Um, we have a job in Knoxville, we're doing the Austin Homes rebuild. And we have a job in Oak Ridge Main Street Lofts. One in Maryville, that's Cottages at Cates Cove. That one is probably about halfway to completion. Um, beautiful scenery, um, already have quite a few residents living there. And we are hoping to get started next month in November on Kingston Pike. Um, and that will be another multifamily project. Um, and as far as my role goes, I'm HR, human resources. Um, so I do a lot of sourcing candidates, um, reaching out to universities um, who have construction science programs, um, developing relationships with students, discussing potential internships. Um, and I also try to reach out to people who have been in the industry for a long time, um, who might be looking either for just a different career path um, or just a different place of employment. Um, we love, um, you know, seeing our teams out in the field. Um, so I'm trying to recruit people who who have that same viewpoint. Um, we, we don't like it when, you know, if our team is just sitting in their trailers. Um, and I also get to do a little bit of marketing, um, some event planning too. That's actually, I went to school to do event planning and a little bit of marketing. So I love that, that my job kind of encompasses all three of those areas. Um, and I do a little bit of employee relations, handbooks, job descriptions. Um, but right now my primary focus is on recruiting. So many hats. Awesome. Um, so, could you also describe for us the culture of J.A. Hilden and why do you like to work there? Yeah, absolutely. The culture, we are definitely a work hard, play hard company. Um, we, at our, we had our annual company meeting a few weeks ago um, and we did. It was you know an intense couple days of some training and good information, but both days afterward, we went to um, just a, a secluded venue just to, you know, kind of unravel and hang out together. Uh, we've grown a lot over the last little bit, and so many of our team members hadn't met each other. So it was really fun to get everybody in the same place, um, you know, put faces with names, um, and just kind of, you know, be outside of the work setting. Um, we played some games at our company meeting, um, and that was, I think, I think some of my games that I brought to the table were a little more, you know, fun and get you out of your comfort zone than they and they were planning. But um, but they really seemed to enjoy it. Um, I certainly did. Um, and they were really a family atmosphere, um, you know, from 
from a human resources standpoint, that's been a little bit difficult for me um, just because I am so used to trying to keep things segmented. Um, but, but these people do truly care about each other and what's going on um, in, in personal life and at work. Um, it, each team seems to get along really well. Um, and that is, that's something that's huge to me. Um, they're all about teamwork um, and they just really, they try to make the job as fun as possible. There are definitely going to be things that are not fun about it. Um, you know, who, there are some people who do love to document. I was about to say, you know, who loves just documenting. Um, but we do, we, we have one that I'm thinking of in particular who loves it and he is so good at it. Um, so that's, that's a little bit about our culture. Um, something that really stood out to me when, when I was interviewing here, um, with our owners, they, they understand that yes, they do have a good culture, but there's always room for improvement. Um, and I know, you know, some companies just aren't necessarily open to to that idea and to hearing suggestions. Um, but so far, everything that, that has been brought to the table um, has been, they've listened to it with open ears, we've tossed ideas around. Um, so that's, that's really been encouraging just from my seat as well. It's really awesome. That's exciting. <laughs> I, I love hearing about how different companies um, just bring different types of characteristics to the table and how they really cater to their employees. And I find that to be really important. So that's really cool. Um, can you share with us just some of the job opportunities and internships that you currently have open and kind of how that process works? Yeah. So we have, we use Applicant Pro um, just for applications, um, but we also accept pretty much if somebody reaches out to me, um, I'm just going to go ahead and open that door. I can send them the application. Um, they can send me their resume. Um, I try to make it as easy as possible for, for anybody who is interested in joining our team. Um, for open positions, we are... We are very invested in in trying to um, just make sure we're we're opening our doors to internships and people who want to learn the field. Um, I know every company feels that they're they do things the right way, um, and we're one of those companies. We we think we're doing things the right way. Um, we certainly try to do the right thing. Um, we want our clients to be happy. And so we want people to come in and, and learn how we operate, how we run a project from start to finish. Um, so internships, a lot of what that looks like is um, once you go through initial training, you're going to be doing punch list items. Um, and for, for anybody who's newer to the, the field of study, um, punch list is basically the items that that are generated that need to be followed up on. Um, you know, hey, this was done. These outlets are all in the right place. These doors are in the right place. Okay, but this door, the knob, it was supposed to open to the left, but it's opening to the right. This needs to be fixed. Or you know, this drywall, it's bowing out at the bottom. We probably have a pipe issue behind that wall. So the wall probably needs to be torn down and we'll need to fix the pipe and then rebuild the wall. Um, things like that. And then they'll follow up on it and make sure that those items are completed and are completed per the drawings by architects, engineers, and according to the contract and scope of the job. Um, Think what else? Um, we had we had our first interns um, this past summer, um, the the first ones that we've had in a while, and they both really did. Once they hit the job site, they hit the ground running. Um, I lied. We do. We have one intern. I, always, I keep um, forgetting about him, um, but he's phenomenal. He had been doing some work for us for a while, and. They, they realized how much he was contributing um, to the project. And 
they're like, you know what, we need to be paying him and we want him to know that he's he's valued and he's still he still interns with us. Um and and he really is. He's great to work with. Um the interns are some of my favorite people. Um I just I don't think, you know, I'm I'm close enough in age to necessarily relate to them. I don't know what it is. I just I love their their personalities and um, just how eager they are to to learn. Um, and some of the other positions that we're hiring for, it kind of ebbs and flows. We are almost constantly on the lookout for talent as far as our lead superintendents, the people who are on the job site every day, walking, talking with our subcontractors, making sure the project is on schedule um, and, you know, helping our subcontractors with any issues that they're having um that is that is a hard job um and it's a hard job to to fill there are so many great companies out there and a lot of people are really happy with where they are um so that you know and i i love that people are happy where they are i don't i don't want it to be different but you know for for my purposes i'm like no come work for us um but we were also trying to fill um, assistant roles and those, depending on the project and the stage that it's in, those roles can either be very entry level or we could be looking for somebody who's got some experience and a pretty big comfort level um, with managing a job so that they can, for the most part, jump right in and kind of pick up where it left off. Um, we we love to we love to teach people our the way that we do things um but we're open to new ideas um so even with our interns coming in we have so much we can learn from them they are learning things in school about new technology or new ways of doing things um and they have you know a fresh set of eyes um on the project and so we're we're definitely not we don't like the term, we've been doing it this way for years. There's always a different way to do something. Um, as far as other roles, those are really, for the most part, those are the roles that we're hiring for. Right now, we are looking for someone with um, a bit of a, an engineering background for some of the industrial work that we're doing. Um, and it's very possible our VP um, over the industrial operation is looking to expand our um, our client base um, in that in that market, and one of the jobs he's working on it it could it could create a lot of work for me, which is great. Um, but we, we would need to hire a lot of people for it. Um, so I'm ready. I'm ready for it um, when he when he says go. Um, but those are. A lot of things that we look for, that I look for when I'm looking through resumes, um, I I like to see, for someone who's established, um, who's been in a career path, I like to see, you know, longevity with an employer. Um, if, if I see someone's been hopping around every year, but it's, they have a solid foundation, um, and by solid foundation, I mean, they've got some great background, great experience, um, you know, doing the types of projects I happen to be recruiting for, I'm still going to talk to them. Um, it just, it kind of raises a little bit of a red flag. Um, but some other things that I look for are um, just some of the keywords, like if I'm recruiting for a multifamily job, I'm looking for multifamily. Internships, um, really, I... In the resume, I'm primarily looking to make sure they they have an interest in construction. Um, we have an intern right now who's in the um, the architecture program at UT, and um, but I when I talked to him, he was very open to anything having to do with construction, architecture, any any of it. So. Um, you know, so far he's doing a phenomenal job. Um, and so, you know, we, I really just look for people who have that interest, who have the desire to learn. Um, 
I'm not really looking. I eyeball GPAs, but that's not a make or break it for me. Um, I'm, you know, I pay a lot of attention to if you if you are have um, or if you have involvement in, you know, outside activities. If you're in, um, I cannot think of any good examples right now. I'm thinking of SGA and high school geared, but but that could very well be something that's in college too. Um, but you know, I do like to see that involvement. Um, but really my chief goal is to look for people who really have that interest. And then from there I'll, um, you know, schedule one-on-one -on -one times to, to talk with the people. It's, I refer to it as an interview, but it's really more just me trying to figure out, you know, is our company going to give you that experience that you need to figure out, you know, is this the path that I want to take? Um, so that that was a really long answer to your question. I hope it. I hope no, that's it was good. You actually like went down my list of questions because my next one was like, what kinds of experience make a good candidate and a good fit, and those resume points. And so, like talking about you desire to have those organization skills, like are they involved in a student work? Are they a leader? Like where does that come out to where that can be transposed in the position? Um, is there anything else that you want to share as far as like experience that you want to see from a good candidate or what are some skills that you like to see from a student when recruiting or looking at potential internships or further career opportunities? Yeah. Um, communication. And I am, I'm very partial to that. I studied communications at UT, um, but communication is so huge in I think any field, but as I've learned over the last few months um, in construction as well, a lot of, a lot of, pretty much all you're doing is communicating with your subcontractors, with your team, with your project manager. Um, so kind of what happens at a very high level uh, overview, project manager will, with, with, with input from the superintendent, um, Project manager creates a master schedule. The superintendent breaks that down into manageable pieces and then has to communicate that to the subcontractors. Um, from there, it has to be communicated clearly. Um, and then they need to work with the subcontractors. Hey, this is this week you're expected to be in building one. You should be wrapping up on the fourth floor. Um, you able to do that that is the expectation but are there any issues that you see before we roll into the week then that subcontractor might say nope uh, we are good we might even be finished the day before or if it's an electrician he might say no the plumber's in my way i can't i can't get to the wall that i need to um and from there, the subcontractors kind of talk it out together with the superintendent to figure out, okay, how can we, how can we do this to make sure it's a win-win for everybody? We don't want our subcontractors holding other trades up, um, but we also want to keep the project on schedule. Um, and we just we want to have good relationships with our subcontractors, with our owners. Um, and a lot of that comes down to communicating appropriately um, and knowing what motivates the other person. Um, some of our subcontractors, you know, want us to say, you are doing a great job. Um, thank you. Can you maybe do that, that great job that you did on this building? Can you do that on this other building that we're working on now because this building's falling behind? Um, some contractors just need you to kind of figuratively beat them upside the head and say, hey, this building's behind, go. We need, we need it, we need it up and running. Let's move. Um, it just depends on your, you know, how each foreman of the subcontractor works. Um, and each day our uh, superintendents and their teams will create a daily report that is sent back to our home office um, where our project managers and our VP of operations review it. Um, and that just 
what happened on the job today? Are you seeing any issues? Um, and it helps them know if they need to jump in and help with any problems, um, if there are problems, which on a construction site, there, there are gonna be problems. Um, no job's gonna run perfectly. No job is, Joe, our, our CEO, Mr. Fielden, he, he was really sad one day when one of our team members said, oh, the project's ahead of schedule. He was like, oh no, no, we're never ahead. We're never ahead. It might be on schedule, but it's never ahead. <laughs> like he just, I don't know if he, you know, thinks that that's kind of asking for something to happen, but um, you know, that's, it's just all about communication. Um, and, and that's even here in our home office, um, between the field and the home office and in the field, our, our subcontractors have to know when they need to start a project, part of their part of the project and finish their part of the project. They need to know that the other trade won't interfere with their ability to get their job done. And that, that ultimately falls on that superintendent um, to be able to make sure all of that falls into place. And then to work with everybody if there, when there are issues um, and, you know, kind of keep everybody, I don't want to say keep everybody happy, but just keep things flowing as they should be. Well, awesome. Yeah, that's really, really like, well, I think I got asked that question last week. They're like, what are your employees look for most? It's like, if you can communicate. <laughs> like, honestly, like if you can encode, decode, whatever it is being said and make it precise, like you're going to make it. <laughs> yeah. um, so um, those are kind of like overall my general questions to, that you could share with us today. Is there any other things that you feel like led to share um, at this time? Um, yes. Do. I never want to make us sound like a perfect employer. We are not. Um, there is no perfect employer. We're certainly not one. Um, I really do enjoy working here. Um, it is challenging. Um, they they want their employees to succeed. If their employees succeed, their company succeeds. Um, and they are they're all about um, training. My role here is new. Um, I started in February, right before COVID hit. Um, so that kind of threw a little bit of a wrench into, <laughs> into some of our plans, but, um, you know, they, they want us to, to be more involved with training. Um, we're rolling out performance reviews so that people can get ongoing feedback and again, communicate, um, have that open communication with their supervisors and the people who report to them. Um, so it, it really, they, the owners just really make it a great place to work. And I love the, just all the different personalities here. Um, David, our VP of operations, um, he oversees our commercial projects. He likes to say that, you know, we have crazy, we're crazy here. Um, part of what we're doing, you know, when we're screening is, are you going to fit our crazy? Um, but, and essentially not be scared off. Um, but we're not certifiably, no, we're not. Um, we just, we just really do. We like to have fun. Um, we'll, you know, joke with each other. Um, but it really is. It's a fun place to work. It is very challenging. Um, so if you're, if you're up for, for a challenge, um, and you know, some good laughs and, and learning, um, and just contributing to a team environment, then this is definitely a great fit for you. Well, Emily, I just want to say thank you um, and then for all the information and just speaking with some of our students today and then just showcasing um, the company in general. And just it was nice for me just to hear and understand um, what you all do and what you look for. So I just want to say thank you for your time.